Hello my angels, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are really, really well. I can't tell you how glad I am to be home and I'm mindful that I haven't done an at-home, wholesome, cosy vlog for a long time. So I've been at home for a couple of days now. It's been a busy few days. I had an amazing shoot with Claudia and I know I always say this, but I'm so excited for you to see it. I, I think all the different elements that we filmed just sums me up perfectly. I don't wanna to give too much away, but it's going to be incredible and I can't wait for you guys to see it. It's also to announce something very, very exciting. So hopefully I'm able to launch it soon. And today, although it's been manic, <laughs> Anna's been here today and we have literally been back to back, five minute schedules. And this afternoon, I am able to come and sit down with you. Actually, have a cup of tea, calm down, have a gorgeous, cozy, wholesome vlog, which is so lovely. And do you know what? I've had lots of different boxes and deliveries whilst I was in Mallorca. So this vlog is going to be a little bit of an unboxing. We're gonna sit down, have a cup of tea together, have a heart to heart. I need to take the sausages around the orchard because they are harassing me at the moment. Well, they've been harassing me all day in all honesty. So we're gonna take the little dogs for a walk. And then I get probably about a hundred messages a month asking about my nails. What do I ask for when I go to the nail salon? And I think I've already told you this, but we are going to Portugal at 7 a.m. tomorrow morning <laughs> for one of my best friend's weddings. And I can't turn up with claws, can I? So I'm off to the nail salon this evening and I thought I would take you with me. And then one of your favorite things to watch and one of my favorite times of day is putting my babies to bed. It is the sweetest thing. Their evening routine is just perfection. It is so cute. So as I said, this is going to be a super chilled, super cozy, wholesome vlog. So make yourself a cup of tea or pour yourself a glass of champagne and let's get straight into this. So from the looks of it, it's skincare. As you know, I'm absolutely obsessed with skincare. And when I was in Mallorca, believe it or not, I actually ran out of moisturizer. Now that does not happen to me. I have a whole cupboard full of lots of different products, but I'm a little bit fussy, as you know. What we put on our skin, and when you absorb a product that you really don't know what's in it, um, I refuse to do it. So when I was away, I didn't take enough, and I ran out. So this Olivana delivery could not have come at a better time. It looks absolutely incredible. Let's have a little look. Dear Leonora, to celebrate this bank holiday, oh whoopsie, <laughs> whoopsie. This was obviously delivered before <laughs> the bank holiday. To celebrate the bank holiday, we wanted to introduce you to some of our best-selling skincare essentials designed to make your skin glow. Whether you're going away or enjoying a staycation, indulge in some well-deserved you time with Olivana. Enjoy Anushka. That is so lovely. I always say this, but a handwritten note goes such a long way and it's so meaningful and personal. And inside, <gasps> one of my favorite swimwear brands, or I would say resort wear brands, is Melissa Odebash. And they have sent a swimsuit. Literally, this could not have come at a more perfect time. In my favorite color of all time. Oh my goodness. Have you ever seen a more me swimsuit? I am absolutely in love. It's got the waist belt. It's also high hipped, very sexy, low back, rather skimpy body, which I love. But that's gorgeous. I wonder what size they've sent. Hmm, a size 42. We'll see whether that fits, but it's absolutely beautiful. The quality of Melissa Odebash is absolutely amazing and they last for so long. So I'm really excited to actually wear that and very on brand with the coloring. That is most certainly going straight in my suitcase from Portugal. And then on the inside, 
We have a little bit about the brand, meet the founder. If you are new to my YouTube channel, Olivana is the most incredible botanical skincare brand. They have the most incredible range of different products from nighttime serums, nighttime creams, SPF drops, which are epic. I shot an incredible campaign for them on a boat in Mallorca to launch the SPF drops, and I can't tell you how exceptional they are. And I'm I'm actually really excited to try a few of the other products. I've been dying to try their cleanser, so I hope they've sent it. <gasps> Rose water and chamomile cream cleanser. Oh my goodness, I can't wait to try that. Let's have a little, a little sniff. Beautiful packaging, all in glass bottles, so super sustainable as well. The smell of chamomile. I don't know whether you would agree with me, is so heavenly and so calming. Let's have a little look. It's a beautiful consistency. Stunning. Very milky. Very milky. So I think what you would do is I would pop this onto my skin and then I would use a cotton pad or a reusable uh, flannel or a little cloth that you can wash. That looks divine. I actually think it might foam up if we add some water. Hmm. Gorgeous with me a second i'm just gonna go and wash this off <laughs> that looks absolutely divine this is all going to come away with me then we have the eye cream now i absolutely slaughter this word every time i try and say it bakuchuil <laughs> bakuchuil restoring eye cream i'm most certainly saying that wrong but it is the most incredible ingredient. You probably already know all of the pros and cons if you don't Google it, because I could go on for hours talking about Bakuchunyol. Anyway, amazing, amazing product. Then we have the Sun Defense SPF Drops. Now I already have this and it is absolutely incredible. Another thing that I love is that a tiny bit goes a long way. So it lasts for so long, but so nice that I can actually have a backup of that. Then we have the Detox Oceanic Marine Mask. I haven't actually tried this before. Let's have a little look. It feels as though it's in a pot. Let's have a little look at this. Oh wow, it's quite dark. It looks like a clay mask. So this says, smooth into cleansed skin, avoiding eye contour and allow 15 minutes and remove with warm water. Look at that. Do you know what? I might even have a little bit of me time this evening and do a bit of a skincare routine just to prep my skin to ensure it is super glowy and ready for the weekend's activities. So that is my gorgeous delivery. Oh, we have one more product. This is the Bakuchunyol <laughs> Miracle Night Serum. I feel like you guys are going to attack me. I cannot pronounce it for the life of me. Um, but the Night Serum is probably one of my favorite products from their whole collection. I haven't tried the cleanser yet, so I think that could go at the very top. But this and the SPF drops are absolutely epic. So it's really, really nice to have some stock of this in the cupboards. Anyway, Olivana, thank you so much for sending this across. That is so gorgeous to come home to. And I cannot wait to be trotting around in my new fabulous swimsuit. Gorgeous. Could even wear this out to lunch with a pair of like white linen trousers or white shorts. So stunning. Okay. Now I always say this, it is so lovely to be able to support friends of mine. And one of my dearest friends, Jo Deacon, has launched her own homeware brand and it is absolutely beautiful. So when she asked whether I would like anything for the house in Mallorca, I was like, oh my goodness gracious me, yes, yes and yes. So it was delivered whilst I was away. And literally I'm going to unbox this, rebox it, <laughs> and put it in a cardboard box which is right down there, ready to be shipped to Mallorca. And it is so beautiful. So there's really rather a few boxes of it, but let me just show you 
and then you can see the branding and see just how stunning this brand is. From the quality to the design, just everything is so fresh and it's just colours that make you happy. So it's going to go perfectly down in the kitchen in Mallorca. So just so that you can see, this is Joe's branding. It is a fine bone china. It's a great British brand, designed and made in England. And you will know how important that is to me. So here we go, let's have a little look. Oh my goodness, this is so pretty. You'll already see little accents of yellow. And then, can we go into here? I believe, yes, this is the little sugar pot. Is that not the sweetest thing you have ever seen? It is so cute. It's almost like this little escalloped detail of yellow and blue. And that is the little sugar pot, which is going to go perfectly in the kitchen in Mallorca. So Joe's whole brand ethos is to take a moment to slow down, have a sip and enjoy the moments. And perfectly, look at this. Again, a little milk jug. That is so cute. So this is literally the breakfast collection of dreams. You've got the yellow rim at the top, little yellow detail here, and then the yellow and blue. It is so gorgeous. And here we go, You've got the branding on the bottom. Now, another thing about fine bone china is that sometimes it can be a bit of a palaver. When you have something that is so precious, you have to hand wash it all. I'm like, oh, really? Best thing about Joe Deacon, I probably shouldn't say this, but one of the best things about Joe Deacon's brand is that it is all dishwasher safe, which is so handy when you have a busy lifestyle, whether you have kids, whether you just don't have time or don't want to do the washing up, it can go into the dishwasher. So that is a little milk jug. Then we have, oh my goodness. Have you ever seen something so cute in your life? So she has sent six of the sweetest little egg cups. And actually that's something we don't have down in Mallorca. We unboxed one, one gold egg cup that was my grandmother's, which is so precious, but these are going to be perfect. So I'm gonna pop those back in their little box because like I said, I have got, I'm not joking, <laughs> I've got a cardboard box of which is going to be boxed up into and bubble wrapped and then it is going to head down to Mallorca with everything else. She has also included all of her little brochures and information about the brand. So the brand was established in 2017. It's all fine bone china. It's designed and made in England, which is just gorgeous. And as I said, the whole brand ethos is just taking a moment, slowing down in a very fast paced and demanding world and enjoying just having a moment, taking a sip and slowing down, which as you guys know, I need to do more often. So I thought it was really lovely to be able to just unbox this with you, introduce the brand. I know Jo is one of my very dear friends, but her brand is so incredible. It truly is such a stunning brand because of the quality and I adore the designs. Right, I'm going to need a little knife here. In here we have, oh look, I love how this is boxed. Actually, that is fantastic. So you have the little teacup that sat here and then by the looks of it, you have packaged underneath the saucer. That's so smart. Okay, so in here, oh I love it. Look at that little teacup. It's so fresh and contemporary, yet it's in a rather sort of old fashioned style, which I love. It's a real combination of modern and classic. I love that. And then a teacup would be nothing without a matching saucer. And that is something Jo has designed to perfection. Now is that not the most gorgeous teacup and saucer if you were served that at breakfast in the morning, I would be as happy as Larry. 
just gorgeous. I love how she's done that. So the cup is actually quite minimalistic and plain. You've got the small little hint of yellow and blue. And then the saucer is a little bit more so. I love those colors. Just to give you a little bit more of a close up, that vibrant yellow and blue. It just goes so well together. That is absolutely gorgeous. Do you know what? I might even have my cup of tea in one of Joe's mugs. Then here, I believe this is another cup and saucer. In here, what do we have? Let's pop that back in there. We have some more saucers. Lovely jubbly. Then we have the little breakfast plates. And as you know, I adore doing tablescapes, so I think this is going to look amazing all together. So you're going to have the plates, the little egg cups, you're going to have the teacups and saucers amongst these gorgeous little breakfast plates. And with breakfast, you don't want to have an enormous plate. You want something that you can have a few slices of toast or some scrambled eggs, and they are the perfect breakfast plate. They're just gorgeous, and as I said, yeah, they are dishwasher safe. Fantastic. What do we have here? I'm spoiled rotten. <gasps> okay, this is very special. I feel like this completes the whole breakfast set. Now you can actually buy all of these items individually. So if you didn't want to have the sauces, if you didn't want to have the egg cups, or if you didn't want to have the teapot or the plates, you can literally buy these individually as well. But look at this. Oh the lid of dreams to a teapot. This is so cute. So, so cute. So here we have the blue and the yellow with the yellow trim, the little yellow knob on the top. This is so cute. And it's the perfect pourer as well. Just stunning, absolutely stunning. I also love the fresh white to it. It literally is fresh white. It's so classic and crisp. I love it. So you're probably thinking, Joe Deacon. I recognize that name. So Joe's husband is a gentleman called Henry Deacon. Now Henry has the most incredible jewelry brand and he is the seventh generation of Deacon and Francis, the seventh generation of MD. So it is the most incredible great British brand and I think it was founded in something like 1786. So a very, very, very old old great British brand and so when Jo wanted to create her own brand she wanted it to be the combination of contemporary modern uh, mixing it with fine classic bone china and she's literally encapsulated everything she stands for in the most beautiful and happy collection now this is just one of Jo's collection she has so many different designs so please please go and take a little look I will leave all of the details in the description box below. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually unbox all of this and I'm going to set it up outside and then you can actually have a little look at what it looks like. It is the most glorious day today. The sun is shining, it's blue skies, which makes a change for the UK at the moment. And um, I will show that to you. Next, I have a very big box. Now, I'm actually quite sad about this. It is actually the notepads that were meant to be in my goodie bags for the Luxury by Leonora event. All of them arrived the day after, so sadly I couldn't put them in the goodie bags. But I've had a little idea. I think what I'm gonna do is actually I'm going to unbox them. I mean, meanwhile, they have been gift wrapped to perfection. Look at this. It is the sweetest little box from Noble Macmillan. And I think what I'm going to do is literally unbox every single one of them. Mm, please excuse my very naughty sausages. And look at that. Is that not the sweetest little notepad you have ever seen? You've got the little gold sausage dog. And basically what I would like to do is write a little thank you on the first page. Just say, thank you so much for attending my event. Um, wishing you the most gorgeous week, all my lovely Nora. Something like that. 
There are 22 of them. So I thought whilst we're having a little cup of tea together, I would write a few of these, get those done, and then they can be sent as a little after thank you gift. Really, it's the gift that keeps giving. And Noble Macmillan is the most beautiful brand for leather goods. They do the most incredible diaries, journals, their photo frames are absolutely stunning. I have a few of them dotted around the house. So again, if you don't know about Noble Macmillan, I will leave all the details down below and go and take a little look. These little dashed books are ab absolutely adorable. It's almost like they've been made for me. Like I said, I'm gonna get all of this outside, show you what it looks like sat up on a table, because I don't think you can really tell from the complete mess that I've made what it would look like all together. And then I will make a cup of tea in the most divine teacup. We'll sit down, have a little sit together and write some thank you notes. Then we are going to head down to Marlow for my nail appointment. And then the night will just go on. <laughs> Let's go and set up the most gorgeous Joe Deacon table of dreams. Look at this magnificent setup. It is so beautiful. You've got the Joe Deacon cup, saucers, plates, the teapot. Look at these divine little egg cups. They are just so beautiful. And next to that incredible cafe au lait dahlia, the garden roses, the cute little sugar pot, the milk jug. This is an absolute dream setup. So gorgeous, just sitting here on my grandmother's table in the sunshine. This is just so beautiful, absolute heaven. One of my favourite cupboards of the entire kitchen is my tea cupboard. As you can see, we have a few different options. So what are we thinking? So one of my favourite teas of all time, and this was actually sent to me by one of my followers. It's always so lovely to receive things, but it is sometimes a little bit overwhelming. Anyway, my favorite tea of all time is Jasmine Pearls with a touch of honey. And so one of my gorgeous followers sent me a Fort Mason um, tea and look at how gorgeous this tin is. I mean, creme de la creme. It truly is the epitome of luxury. Then we have lots of puka. Puka? Not quite sure how to pronounce it, but we've got peppermint and licorice, we've got womankind, we've got blackcurrant beauty, and then three cinnamon. Three cinnamon is actually one of my favorites. If I am on the Petronella and need of something sweet that actually has no sugar in it, the three cinnamon hits the spot to perfection. But you know what? I'm actually feeling a swirling joy of cranberry rose and exotic vanilla. I think that is going to hit the spot and will look beautiful in my gorgeous Joe Deacon teacup. The bigger, the better. <laughs> mm, that is scrum didiocious. Now I've got my enormous pile of Noble Macmillan notepads. So I thought I would sit down, have a cup of tea with you and start writing these little thank you notes. I hope that they're going to love them as much as I do. They're so sweet. So the most gorgeous quality leather bounded little notepads. They're blank on the inside, so really you can use them for anything. Here we go. So what are we gonna say? Let's say, dearest Alex,
truly hope. Hope you, oh goodness me, enjoyed. Hope you enjoyed the day as much as I adored hosting. go. <laughs> I've got a fair few to do. <sighs> it's so lovely to come home and have the sun shining. I know I sound so British talking about the weather, but when I left Mallorca, I can't tell you, the weather was biblical. Sideways rain, thunder, lightning, the whole shebang. Trees were coming down. I think cruise ships crashed. There were some real shocking things that happened. It was almost like a hurricane slash tornado. It was really frightening actually. So to touch down at home and the sun to be shining, it was just dreamy. And so this afternoon, I am going to pop down to Marlow, have my nails done. I've actually then got to head over to Anna's to collect my laptop. I've got a vlog that is uploading that's taking a little bit of time. So actually, by the time you see this, that would have, fingers crossed, already gone live. It is a extra long special Mallorcan vlog. So if you haven't seen it, we moved in. We did a whole heap of unboxing. So please go and take a little look at that. If you can hear the growling in the background, that is Odie wanting to play with his ball. <laughs> Odie, you are so naughty. Bring a ball, come here. Oh. You've never met a dog that is more obsessed with balls than <coughs> Odie is. Oh my goodness, you're very vocal. It's actually Odie's ball. Gentle. Good boy. You wanna go out? Okay, right, we're gonna finish my cup of tea and then we're going to take the saucy song around the orchard. Odie, People would think that you owned the house. You are so naughty. He sits on that chair over there like a little lord. It's very, very noble. And he runs and leaps with all of his force from about two meters away. And sometimes he gets it wrong and face plants into the chair, which poor little schmodels must hurt. It's so lovely to actually sit down and just have time to chat to you guys. Now, all of you ask me so many different questions about my life, what I do business-wise, from my hair, my makeup, my nails, fashion, my mum, my family, dogs, absolutely everything under the sun. But I think I'd quite like to ask you, what would you like to see from me and this channel over the next year? Leave in the comments down below lots of different filming ideas and I will try and film every single one of them if I can. And as I always say, to be able to continue creating the content, I would be so grateful if you hit the subscribe. It just enables us to continue filming, continue creating ideas, continue all of these vlogs. And I just adore the community that we're building together on here. It is, it's such a supportive and it's a kind community. And I'm, I'm genuinely, I feel blessed to have just such a powerful, predominantly female, and if you are a male, thank you so much for subscribing, <laughs> but predominantly female, empowered, positive, incredible network, essentially. So um, a massive thank you from me. Anyway, I feel like I'm wobbling on. I've got a crying sausage dog down here. So mm, another couple of sips from my gorgeous Joe Deacon crockery. And Odie, it's time to go walkies. You're gonna go walkies. You're gonna go around the orchard. Yeah? Look at this. I mean, look at this. This is what I have to cope with on a daily basis. Look at the way he just stares at me. You are so scrumptious. I mean, what is this? How do I get any work done with you? You are so naughty. 
all this crying, whimpering. He says, Mummy, can we please go out? Let's go around the orchard. Are you ready? Let's go around the orchard. Are you ready? Are you ready? Let's go, let's go. Ready? Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Let's go, let's go. Oh, Mummy has got a ball. <laughs> go on then, Oates, get the ball. Oh, this is just glorious, this sunshine. Does he not look so happy? And the garden, oh, you have all seen so many different gardens in the last month. Look at how this has blossomed into action. And look at these vibrant yellows down here. They look absolutely gorgeous. I don't know what it is. At the moment, I am obsessed with lemon and yellows. As my mother says, it is just such a happy and cheerful color. And look at those butterflies. They are absolutely gorgeous. Hi, right, Mr. Wiggingtons. Mr. Wiggingtons. You wanna go around the orchard? Come on then, let's go around the orchard. Come on, Pickles. Come on then, Oats. You just want to play ball. Already? Come on then, let's go. Let's go. Oh, this is just gorgeous. Come on the mummy's baby boys. Oh, I don't know where the other two are. Come on then. I think they're round the front. Basking in the sunshine. And I have my two little boys. Oh my goodness, Wiggs, I'm so sorry. Are you okay? Are you okay? I think he's okay. Come on then. Come on then. <gasps> Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> he's so cute. And they've actually chopped down the orchard. So they have come in here and mown all of the... Oh, sorry, Odes. Sorry, darling. Chopped down all the cow parsley and then that will grow back beautifully in the autumn months. And we've got so many fruits down here. We've got apple trees. I tell you what, the apples will be perfect at the moment. As soon as I get back from Portugal, I'm going to be heading down here. We are going to get ourselves a basket of apples and we are going to make my delicious apple crumble. Now look at those apples. They look delicious. They're little mini granny crab apples. Just gorgeous. So many different variations. So here we have the tiny little delicious and sweet red apples and on this side we have the cooking green apples. And again these are rather little but if we head over, excuse me young man, up to the big tree here these are enormous apples. But actually I have just noticed, oh look at that. That looks like, oh, if I can reach it, an enormous, oh wowzers, plum. Look at that, and it is ripe to perfection. Mm. My goodness, absolutely delicious. There is also another one up there. Why are there only a few? Where are the rest of them? Hmm, we might have to go for a little mooch and go on a bit of a plum hunt. I tell you who it will be who's stolen all the plums is the little plum thief. Where are you, little plum thief? He's over there, if you can see him. <laughs> he is the plum thief. Yes, I'm talking about you, young man. And look at this, we have one pair all on his lonesome. What is going on with the rest of them? Well, he has done very well. I wonder whether he's ready. No, he's a little bit hard, but I think he'll be perfect when we get back from Portugal. Now let's head up this way. Oh, the plums on this tree look perfect. Look at that. I really must come down here and pick these. Look at this. Oh my goodness, that one feels really juicy. Okay, we're going to go in and get this one here. Look at that. 
Doesn't he look gorgeous? Okay, taste test. Oh my goodness me. Oh my goodness gracious me. Absolutely delicious. Okay, well, I'm going to have to try and get down here with my basket and pick as many plums as I possibly can. But look at this. Look at all the apples. So many apples on the floor. Gosh, that just breaks my heart. Okay, now these are the apples that I use normally for my crumble. But you know what, this year I'm actually going to do a variation. I'm gonna put lots of different apples into it because I think the combination of sweet and sour gives it such a different taste. Look, there he is in action. Wiggy, no eating the plums, no. Look at him. What do you have? What is that? Is that a plum? Are you a plum teeth? What's this? What do you have in your mouth, young man? Excuse me, Wiggy? Wiggy, drop it. <laughs> you are as guilty as charged. Caught red-handed, young man. Caught red-handed. Oh, well. I'm joining him by eating my plum. Right. We've got so many different trees and fruits and apples and pears and plums, quince, the whole shebang in here. But it is time. Come on then, boys. I need to find your brothers. We need to walk them around the orchard and then it's time to head down to Marlow. Come on, Wiggs, bring your plum. Wiggy, come on then, bring your plum. This is what he does. He can actually de-pip it himself. Wiggy, careful. <laughs> he de-pips it himself. <gasps> Slotsville! Here's my little blonde bombshell. Lancelot! <gasps> Hi, Mummy's little pickle. Here's my little blonde bombshell. Hi! Where have you been? Your brother just wants to play ball. Where have you been? Huh? Come on then. Come on then. Let's go. <laughs> he always wants what his brother has. Typical little brother syndrome, isn't it? You always want what your older brother has and he wants to be cool. Go on then. Uh, Wiggy, that's not kind. Put your scruff down, young man. That's very naughty. Look at him. He looks like a little ridgeback when he puts his scruff up. Right, be careful. Look, he eats around the pip. Look at that. And he's just popped the pip out. This dog <laughs> is quite something else. Right, you've had enough now. Now give me the pip. Good boy. That's the pip there. Look at that. He is amazing. Ah, uh ah, -uh, drop. Come on then. Come on then, boys. We need to go inside and mummy is heading down to Marlow. Come on, Odes, bring your ball. He's not interested in the plums. He's just interested in the tennis ball. <laughs> just got down to Marlow. Very lucky with my parking spot. I've literally just parked outside Tree Nail Spa. So any of you that asked, where do I get my nails done? And you live locally to me. Tree and Nail Spa in Marlow is the place to go. So Fam, the owner, is one of my dearest friends. They also own the Sum Kitchen, best Vietnamese restaurant in the area. It is absolutely scrum didiotious. It's all made by her husband and he is a Michelin starred trained chef. He was actually trained at Hakkasan. I mean, he is phenomenal. So if you do live local to Henley or Marlow or surrounding areas, please, please go and try it out because it will become one of your favorites. I've actually got a little bit of time <laughs> time can you believe it i've got about 10 minutes before my appointment so i'm just actually uploading some stories that i took at 6 a.m this morning <laughs> so i'm going to actually get these posted and then we will head into uh, tree nail spa Is it bedtime? <laughs> I think it is bedtime. 
They absolutely adore their bedtime routine. <gasps> Is it bedtime? We have to go sneezies. We have to go sneezies. And they all wait to be tucked in, don't you? Don't you? You are so perfect, aren't you? You are so perfect. Right, let's pop you somewhere that you can see because trust me, you are going to want to see this. So, let's see whether I can balance you. <laughs> Wiggy thinks he's getting fed again because I'm putting his bowl on the floor. Right, there we go, Raffy. Come on then. Raffy, are you a Raffy? Are you a Raffy? Okay, well, hopefully you can see everybody here. Are you saying hello to everybody? Are you? Mm -hmm. Come on then. We're all in our pajamas. Right, Odie, come on, that's not your bed. Ready? Odie, wait. Odie, in. Good boy. Uh, uh, Raffy, out. Raffy, out. Good boy. Raffy, in. Good boy, Raffy. There we go. There we go. Wiggy, you ready? Wiggy in. Yeah. Good boy. You must love this little pink and baby. You love this little precious pink and baby. Mommy loves you more than anything in the whole entire world. Then you get it all wrapped up like Mother Teresa. Like Mother Teresa. Come on then, wait a minute. We're going to get you into your bed. We're going to get you into your bed. Go on then. In you get. Oh, we get really tucked in, don't we, sweetness? They get all wrapped up as snug as a bug in a rug. <laughs> Have you ever seen something so delicious in your entire life? So this is their little nighttime routine. So Lancelot loves his crate. He feels so safe and secure in there. We never lock him in but he's in there with lots of blankies and he's all tucked in. Then we have little Mother Teresa over here. <laughs> he's such a little shrimp and he looks so divine. Raffi loves to get super snug and he adores being all wrapped up. Don't you, sweetness? He's like, uh, excuse me, oh, where on earth is my treat? And then we've got Lord Voldemort. <laughs> He loves being all cuddled in, don't you, sweetness? Oh, he is just perfection personified. Right, my loves, that is you all tucked in. Don't worry, mummy has not forgotten the most important part. They get a little nighttime treat. I love these little containers. I will actually link them below. I think I got them on Amazon and they were cheap as chips and it's just fantastic to be able to hold the dog food. So the boys have adult food and then Lancelot is still on superfood puppy food. So this is what happens. Everybody gets a little treat. One for you, gentle, good boys. One for you, Wiggy, gentle, good boy. One for you, Raph. Good boy. And one for you, my sweetheart. Good boy. Right, night night babies. Sweet dreams, sleep well, and don't let the big bed bugs bite. And that is the boys put to bed. I am also as snug as a bug in my Olivia Von Hull pajamas. They're absolutely beautiful. They could do with a good old iron, so please excuse. Anyway, I'm all packed for Portugal. I'm ready to go. We are actually now, in fact, heading off at 6.30 just to ensure we don't get stuck in any traffic. It's about an hour and a half, an hour and 45 minutes down to Gatwick, so fingers crossed we don't get stuck in any of the morning rush hour traffic. Anyway, the weekend is going to be incredible. We're actually traveling with Chloe and Josh and Laura. You've met all of them before. Chloe is my ride or die and her fiance is called Josh. Laura, you would have met on my Val d'Azur girls skiing trip vlog. She is absolutely hilarious and one of my closest friends. So we're in for an incredible weekend. 
but you're going to have to wait because that is on the next vlog. Now it is most certainly my bedtime. It's just gone quarter past 12, so way past my bedtime and considering we're getting up at the crack of dawn, I really, really need to hit the hay. So as I always say, thank you so much for watching and most importantly, sending you so much love.